fasten your seatbelt and put your tray in its full upright position because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, and expected to real <gasps> facts about the most bizarre planes ever built. Number five, the McDonnell XF-85 Goblin. This squat little plane is the smallest jet-propelled fighter ever built and was known as a parasite fighter because it was designed to be dropped from the bomb bay of a larger plane. If the big plane was attacked, the Goblin would be launched from the bomb bay to protect it. The wacky little aircraft was first flown in 1948 and was designed without landing gear. Instead, the plane would essentially hook itself to a trapeze attached to the larger aircraft that would then pull it back into the hole. As you might imagine, it was pretty hard to pull off. Only three of the Goblin's seven flights resulted in successful connections with the trapeze. So just one year after it was introduced, the Goblin was scrapped by the U.S. Air Force in favor of some more practical designs. Number 4, the Lockheed Martin P-791. Yeah, this guy looks kind of like the Shield Helicarrier mixed with a marshmallow. It was built to combine the high speed of an airplane with the buoyancy of a blimp, because why not have both? The P-791 was designed as part of the U.S. Army's Long Endurance Multi-Intelligence Vehicle Competition, but lost to another company. Lockheed Martin wasn't going to give up on their flying marshmallow man that easily, though. They modified it into a cargo carrier called a Sky Tug that can stay afloat at 20,000 feet for up to three weeks. So in other words, it's basically like the coolest floating fort in the sky. No girls allowed, except my mom. We're gonna need some PB&Js. Number three, the Sikorsky X-Wing. No, I'm not talking about Red 5. I'm talking about a conceptual aircraft with two distinct crisscrossed wings on top. The idea was that the X-Wing would spin so the plane could take off vertically like a helicopter, then stop in place mid-flight and fly off like a traditional jet. They never got around to installing laser blasters or proton torpedoes. And before you ask, no, there's no spot for R2 in the back. Number two, the Goodyear Inflatoplane. That's right. In 1956, the Tyron Blimp Company Goodyear created a manned, inflatable airplane prototype for the U.S. Army. It was designed and built in just 12 weeks to be used by the military as a rescue plane or be dropped in a box behind enemy lines. Unfortunately, the Army quickly canceled the project, saying, quote, There's no valid military use for an aircraft that can be brought down by a well-aimed bow and arrow. And finally, our number one most bizarre plane ever built, the Pregnant Guppy. No, not that kind of pregnant guppy. Yeah, 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 that pregnant guppy. We've all been there. You have a giant, awkwardly shaped piece of cargo you need to get across the country. Oh wait, you've never dealt with that problem? Well, NASA has. When working on the Apollo space program, they needed to move around different giant pieces of the space shuttle. That led to the construction of this super weird looking plane adapted from a Boeing 377. So next time you need to move your pet elephant across the country, the pregnant guppy is the way to go. And there they are, the five most bizarre planes ever built. Which plane would you want to fly in if you had to pick just one? Or if you could build your very own plane, what crazy features would you give it? A hot tub, a bowling alley, lasers, a cool robot pilot that always tells you jokes. Beep, 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 beep. What do you call someone who flies a car? An autopilot. Yuck, 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 yuck. Let us know by commenting below and make sure to check out 5 Facts About Spy Gadgets for more super cool tech talk. And remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new 5 Facts episodes every single Tuesday. I'm your host, and now I've got to fly!